Hello, welcome. I am Kench1913, and I am starting a brand new Let's Play. War, it never changes. The undead began a civilization anew. All was well. Until evil invaded the land. What heroes will restore peace to the kingdom? What power can repel the forces of evil? The answer lies buried beneath the secrets of the past. So yeah, this is Let's Play Breath of Death 7, the beginning. This is a game, it's uh, I forget who made it, it obviously it was in the very beginning, but yeah, we're going to start a brand new game. Uh, pretty much this is like a role-playing game. Uh, it's an indie game. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do it on normal, to be honest. And, uh, yeah. It, it's an interesting game. So, yeah, this is Breath of Death, the beginning. As we begin our story, we find our silent protagonist in the den of a vile band of trolls. Let's look a look at him, shall we? So, yeah, this guy's name is Den. Yeah, since you're spending quite time with them, it would probably be the best if I turn turn on Thoughts Subtitle o Manic. All right. Would you like to see? Would you like to, yes. So yeah, I'm playing on a PlayStation control, but yeah, pretty much very similar stuff. This is the PC version. If you don't have a controller, you can use the keyboard. All right, so we come over to here, right? We hit the uh, Y button or whatever. We, we come up with our... So we have party talk. We have our status. This is Dem. He's our main character. He has, um, you know, he, he focuses more on strength and uh, vitality, as you can see. Or maybe he doesn't. I don't know. But he, has, he, ha he focuses more on strength and vitality. So he's our main character, and yeah, we have weapon and armor. We can save our game. We can save it in all these different slots. So yeah, this is pretty much like a final uh, Dragon Quest type game. Oh, look at that, I can run around. So the interesting thing about this game is, that, as you can see, battles left none. So in certain areas in the game, you, you can actually pick when you want to fight, which makes uh, leveling up a little interesting. Yeah, so physical strength is damage, magic does magic. Agility. Is who fights first and vitality is defense against physical attacks will determine defense against magic yeah okay we already knew all this because we've played role-playing games before so yeah this this so uh, restore your MP and save your game so hello troll Yeah, I forget who gave me this silent, I think it was Silent Warrior or something gave me this game on Steam. And, um... What is it? And pretty much we... I don't know. I'm gonna try and play this game. Alright, so you got different, um... You got different things. You can do regular attack, multi-attack, you got techniques. Magic potions, um, protect... And unite, but we're just gonna attack. Let's do it. Yeah, so as you fight, the monsters actually get the monsters actually get stronger. Isn't that cool? But you get combos. So, you get combos. I'm not sure what the combos do, but we went to level 5. Yay. So now we can choose our level up bonus. We 
can either choose fire, fire flurry, or target one enemy or fire bombs. You gotta do level up. I'm gonna do level A. So yeah, you could choose different things that you wanna um like level up in. There's different. There's different things you can level up in, and and it goes down a, a path, I guess, which is kind of cool. But yeah, as you fight more, you actually have to. The enemies get uh pretty, pretty. Well, they get stronger. Nice. I like the Castlevania Symphony of the Night reference there. Build up your combos with the multi-hit techniques, then finish them off the, with a powerful combo boost like a death blow. Watch out for these abilities to combo break that will set your thing. So now it's time to fight the cheap roll. With, uh, with Dem here, I'm gonna actually boost his strength and vitality, because that's kind of like what he's... He's more basically gonna be like a physical attacker. It's not worth trying to bring up... I mean, you can play however way you want, but... I'm gonna try and, uh, play towards his strength. And that means strength and vitality. Uh, you have 200 battles left to, in order to fight and stuff, to fight enemies and stuff. You know, that's one interesting thing, so you can't, uh, you can't, um, like, waste, you cannot waste, uh, like, buying, um, certain things, you know what I mean? Or, you can't waste, like, fighting, uh, you have to know when to fight. But yeah, totally, this is totally, uh, Dragon Quest. Yeah, even with that. Apparently you can't go in the door. And you can't check any of this stuff. Sure. Interesting, you know. Yeah, so you want to kill them fast. The enemies faster get higher regeneration, I guess. Graveyard of Lost Souls. Adventurers have sought to claim the treasure. Maybe I will. It's a shame they can't open doors as a skeleton. Look at this guy, he looks like a...
Yeah, so pretty much what you can do, you can walk around the world and not have to worry about initiating battle. And yeah, this is Sarah. I don't know how a human chick is down here. Yeah, so you can use Unite techniques. You'll gain more allies and have more United techs. So yeah, now, oh, is Sarah, is she like a, she's kind of like blue from Breath of Fire maybe? So how much money do I have? 70. Not enough to buy whatever the hell they have over here. Hmm. And yeah, so now Dem and Sarah team up to embark on a fantastic adventure. And yeah, this kind of reminds me of, uh... Fantasy Star, I think. Alright, so what we could do is we could ha we could fight or we could just explore the world. I think I'm... Oh, I get... Oh, okay, we're gonna fight. Alright, so I'm gonna use Multi-Strike. She's got... So with her, I'm actually gonna bring up her her uh, MP and stuff. So she's all about healing. Yeah, that would do it if you didn't have a tongue. So yeah, you could just be like fight. The bad thing about the bad thing about healing is it is it takes away your combos. Look at that, level up. Hmm. Stuns one enemy or stuns can stun all enemies. And let's do one, I guess. Shining armor. That's funny. Anyways, we're not going in there yet. Apparently, there's a cave over here that we can go to. Or there's something over here. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're just gonna use some multi strike. And I'm just gonna use blue on the lizard man. Yay! Sarah levels up again. Agility and will are 30 magic. I guess it's agility. Nah, it was magic. Yeah, we should look at her stats. treasure here. I don't know if that's true, but we'll check it out. Dark Troll. Sarah goes up another level. Heal spells also cure. That's kind of nice. I guess I'll take that though. I'd rather have the ability to heal everybody. And yeah, so there's you can fight up to nine times in here. But I'd rather not. I mean, you could choose when to fight, but if they're just gonna come up randomly, I don't really care. higher that will help out a lot plus we're gonna warp or we're gonna go back to town so I can buy that weapon for her hopefully I'll have enough money gotten that experience than than not than having to deal with uh them almost dying so it looks like your hp heals to the max after every after all the battles but yeah the faster you, i guess you bring back your hp or something in town. The faster you uh, beat the enemies, the quicker your HP comes back, I guess. Look at that, we crushed him. I wonder if we run, does it count as a battle? Oh, look at 
look at this. We got new enemies here. I can run. Why was I not doing that? Whee! I forgot all about that. I'm like... Oh, I could go faster, but... Alright, let's buy this Mystic Staff. Alright, what is that... What does that Mystic Staff do? Max MP plus 10. Very cool. I forgot about the running option. Alright, so let's get to that cave and then go through the cave and then I'll probably stop the video there. Oh, look at that giant rat. where you could run and you wouldn't have to uh, use your battles if you didn't want to. Zombie. 
Oh yay, zero. Escape random battles. Or target allies that can kind of escape random battles only. I guess I'd rather have the uh I guess I'd rather have this. The escape ability. Five 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 two. That's funny. Bros. So there we go. We defeated those guys. Let's keep going. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting game, I guess. I mean, I like the fact that they give you, like, you know, if you run into enemies, you know, you're not market Sally forever, huh? But I like the fact that, you, you know, um, that you can run into, you know, you only run into a certain amount of enemies. Although you have to make it count, I guess. You don't want to have to fight these crows all the time. I'm looking forward to seeing who will... Oh, here we go. Here's a treasure chest. One day he bumped his head and he couldn't get out of bed, huh? Oh, this, this area is pretty long. Skeletons. So yeah, I guess these guys wrote a bunch of other games. Like Cthulhu saved the world. And we get a lot of experience for that. Three hits for 50 or two hits for 75. I think I'd rather go for the two for 75, I guess. Although, technically, they both do the same amount of damage, I guess. Everyone dies someday. Jeez, yeah. Let's see what's over here. I think I might have to stop the episode here. up for nothing. I bet you it'll be a little bit better when we get more people. Alright, so I think I'm going to get to the next spot and stop. Or you know what? Oh, look at you, Sarah. Target's all out. Plus 25 agility. And I'd rather that. How 
right, so I'm going to save the game here, and the next episode, we'll continue on with Breath of Death. I've been Kenshin1913, I'll see you later, bye-bye.